Hey, I started. Well, this has started. I haven't seen it on Facebook yet, so hopefully we will spin up here really. Oh, there we are. We're on Facebook. Wow. Woohoo! It's amazing. What a week. What a week. How was your week? It was um it was pretty good. It was uh yeah, it was productive. Got some shit done on our website. So um anybody that's watching if you caught our first video, which was a little bit off, but we're working through stuff, um, go head to our website and there's a comment section right below the video. So give us a comment. We need, we need some, some stuff to keep this going. <laughs> As of right now, you know, I'll, I'll take responsibility for the videos being all kind of goofy because I thought uh, things would go a little bit smoother than they have. But unfortunately, I have learned that I have limitations too. Yes, that's right. I know. I do? <laughs> I'm admitting them live right now. Uh, that won't wow. happen very often. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and share this one out also. Go yeah, send it over to it. another page. And anybody watching, please, please share this out. I know, I know you're going to want to share this with everybody out there because – this is going to be huge. I can't wait. So I shared it to my timeline. I'm going to share it to my group as well. Because people, for some reason, get notifications from my group, but they don't necessarily always get notifications from my timeline. That's right. <laughs> I, know. I know. It's it's They've got a grip on us, don't they? They do. The, you know, Facebook has that kind of a grip. On everybody, they are only going to allow you to have so much influence before they start pulling it back. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, oh well. So what do you do? we're gonna make we're gonna make up because we we're gonna make up for it because the you know and that's the awesome thing about doing these short little videos and sharing this. So the reason we want to do this, we want you guys to get this the questions for the tests that we're sharing. And this gives us a chance to get into the flow of things and work out any bugs. So before the now fun I begins. Knew. I know we told you last week that you would be getting a video every day. However, things didn't quite work out that way. So now you're getting number two tonight, a week later. And right, uh, hopefully right. you'll be getting, well, who knows? Who knows where we're going to go, to be honest with you. It's kind of up in the air right now. But, you know, that's kind of how we like to – how I like to do things. You know, I fly by the seat of my pants and oh, – Yeah, just, so so that's the, the beauty of subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube and look for Grit and Grace TV, you have to make sure you've got the TV in there. And subscribe to our channel so that you do get notifications of when our videos – are up there, but we do launch officially next Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and our videos will always be there. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get notified. So oh, let's do uh, question two. Do you have it? So if you, for those of you who are following along, go watch our first video. If you didn't see it, we shared what the first question was. There's 12 questions on the grit scale test. We're going to give the final one on our show next Thursday and we're going to talk about that and then really get into what grit is because I think a lot of people think it's rough and gruff and it's really not so we're going to talk about that and what it is so question two for those following along okay so in case you forgot what question number one was it was I have overcome setbacks to conquer an important challenge and then we told you the the, the scoring of very much being five, mostly being number four, somewhat being number three, not much at all, or not much is number two, and give yourself a one if it's not at all. However, number two, today's question is, new ideas and projects sometimes distract me from the previous ones. You know, I, I thought about this pretty hard this last week. Because something happened this last week, and uh, in for me, anyways, that kind of that kind of actually did try to pull me away from from what it is that we're doing now. So I thought that was kind of interesting that you know after a week after question number one came up, this shiny penny came up, 
and it was really, really shiny. Uh, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pull you away, Pull you from, away from, 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 this? from this? I know that's pretty crazy, but see here, and here's what it was. It was a, a business deal. Now I am not one of these people that get all wrapped up in business deals. You know, all these marketers are out there right now, like, Oh, come join my multi-level marketing or my network marketing or this. There's so many people out there right now bombarding us with all these different ideas. And that actually happened to me last week. The, the guy wanted to jump on and let's get on a call so I can explain this to you and this, that, and the other. And, and I, I had to say, no, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a shiny penny guy. I don't get distracted when I have a focus. And like I said, last, you know, last time, focus for me is it's an acronym follow one course until success and that is what i've always uh gone by when dealing with this kind of stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well and you know it i know for those of you that are following along with the question i think uh, this is one of those feel into it because i think this is one of those questions that you either have to you know you have that initial reaction, that initial instinct to answer that question. But, you know, you can go into it deeper. New ideas and projects could be that opportunity that you really always wanted, but you didn't see it right away. So in the meantime, you're working on that one thing. And then that opportunity just happens to come along and it distracts you. Well, maybe it was something that you were working towards and the opportunity finally came up while you were busy doing something else in the meantime working towards that so that is uh but generally no i stay on one thing too i will have a focus and that's you know that sort of and that's really getting clear on what it is you want to do and if you're someone like us who podcasting and this medium is big uh, I think it it's it goes beyond focus. It more like grabs you, and you just can't let it go. It, like, I think there was that question in uh, in the PDC about what would make you stop podcasting, and a lot of people were like, "Yeah, I'd, I, it would be dying." <laughs> so, anyway, Oops. so <laughs> I just I just had to hit a volume button real quick, and it's like, oh, but. And uh, Antiqua, uh, I hope I said that right. She put in there, you know, focus, follow one cause until success. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, that's, that's one of those things. I mean, a lot of people get sidetracked. They get, they get started on a business path. And next thing you know, they're jumping off and they're adding this to their business. And they, 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 they try to fool themselves. They really do. They, they try to tell themselves, well, I'm still in the same business. So all I'm doing is just adding to my business. But really what's happening is when they haven't run the course of one product or one service and they're starting to get frustrated because something's not quite taken off yet, they start looking outside of that. And that's when they start seeing these other things. Well, if I add this to the business or if I add that to the next thing you know, we've got this, this large entity and nothing's getting done. So yeah. you'll hear me a lot of times say, stay in your lane, just do your one thing that you do very well and yeah. let the rest yeah. kind of come in later on as you're successful doing that one thing that got you started. Yeah. And we know where, where that's coming from. If you have the shiny penny thing, if you're constantly distracted, I mean, there, there's a fear there. There's an insecurity there. There's your, there's a lack of clarity there. So so again, the question, new ideas and projects sometimes distract me from previous ones. So you want to answer that very much like me, mostly like me, sometimes like me, not much like me or not at all like me. So choose which one is for you right now, not the way you want to be, but the way you are now. And this is how the scoring works. So keep track. So the scoring for that is... If you say very much like me, you get a one. If you're mo if it's mostly like me, you get a two. And if it's somewhat like me, you get three. And not much like me is four. And not at all is five. So keep track of your score and uh, 
the next video we'll we'll uh, we'll tackle the next question. These are good thinking questions, right? This really provides good clarity and perspective, and um, makes you think. Oh, definitely. I mean, some of these questions they they get down to the core of who you really are, yeah, and. Yeah. You know, when you and I sat down and we did this grit test, we didn't do it together. We did it separately. And yeah. then we shared our, our scores with each other. And I can't wait until May 4th when we can share our scores with everybody because it's going to be one hell of a big reveal. You would actually be pretty surprised on how Lynn and I both scored. <laughs> I, know, I was surprised at how I scored, to be honest. With you. I was really surprised. Were you? Yeah, I thought I would be way higher. Huh. Well, I think that's because we, when, until we really get what grit is, I mean, that was a huge learning thing for me and for, for both of us when we started really talking about it and researching about it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Definitely. I'm not surprised you would score high. Come on. Well, I thought it, I thought it would be higher. To be honest with you, I thought it would be a little higher. Yeah, I was, yeah. but I wasn't disappointed. I was not disappointed. I, I was pretty much in that that thinking of, yeah, I got this one on lock. You know, that's just who I am. You know, I I figure I feel like I'm a gritty guy. I mean, you listen to my voice, I feel like the grit just kind of oozes out. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, that was the grit's the case, not right? oozing that much. <laughs> <laughs> not, not oozing as much as I thought it would. However, you're going to have to check out May, uh, Grit and Grace on May 4th. You're not going to want to miss it. I promise you, we will deliver some of the most amazing, mind-blowing topics that going forward from May 4th on. We're, we are going to deliver yeah, yeah. some topics that are going to make you just stop and think yeah, about yeah. who you really are. Stephanie says you're gritty. <laughs> well thank you stephanie and i hope i hope everybody watching is just as gritty but you can grow your grit too so we're going to talk about that so don't have no fear there cj we'll grow no. your grit thank you i appreciate it <laughs> okay well, so keep me. score keep score everybody <laughs> Yes, keep your scores. And that day, we want everybody to to be able to put your scores in on May 4th. I want everybody to be able to put their scores in. That way, we can all celebrate each other's grit test scores. Yeah. So until next time, everybody, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect solution. Hey, peace and be wild. <laughs>